Here it is by the numbers. Omaha Under the Radar will offer eight events, mm -hmm. two workshops, and seven venues all across four days. And starting today, performers from across the country will join local performers like TBD Dance Collective. Seven of the members are right here this morning. Good. Also here, event director Amanda Deborah Bartlett. Good to see you, Amanda. Nice to have you here. Hi. Why did you start Good this morning. thing? Well, I've been uh, working with living composers as a classical singer for about 10 years, um, and I noticed that a lot of organizations show classical music from the past, theater from the past, and I wanted to show uh, music, dance, and theater of our generation mm -hmm. and generations to come. Mm -hmm. And then elevate the scene in that's Omaha. Right. But that's not the extent of your goal, is it, since you're bringing in people from all mm -hmm. over? Is it sort of a regional uplifting? That's right. There are performers from 10 different cities on this mm -hmm. festival. About half the performers are local, half of them are out of town, and I wanted to put Omaha on the map for experimental and contemporary performance. Well, all these workshops, yeah. what are all these workshops about? <laughs> there are two workshops. One is at 11 o'clock on Saturday, and it's based on improvisation, creativity, and your performance. It's, it's led by a musician named Luke Polipnik, but mm -hmm. anyone of any discipline or no discipline can come and learn. And <clears throat> at 12 o'clock at Kaneko, Kate Campbell, a pianist from Omaha who lives in San Francisco, is going to talk about music entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Why do you have so many, many venues, <laughs> and, and how are they all integrated into this big festival? Well, I wanted to get across Omaha and reach as many different people as possible. Mm -hmm. Some people love rock clubs. Some people love art galleries. I think there's something for everyone. They're all, uh, they're all modern venues that show modern contemporary art mm -hmm. or non-traditional spaces that I think would be fun to hear this kind of music and see these performances. That's mm -hmm. awesome. We have some performers laying on the, on the performance area <laughs> on the ground on their well, backs right now. Well, a few of them are standing. Yeah, tell us about this group. What are we going to see? TPD is an Omaha-based dance collective. They all choreograph. They all all dance. They work together to create non-traditional performances, and they often perform with um, live music, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, should, well, should we get to it? Here yeah. they are. They're from Omaha. TBD Dance Collective. Take it away. Hey, you want to fall in love again? Hey, you wanna 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 fall in love again? Reminds me of the 4th of July at the end. Do you plan to make this an annual event? Definitely, and I'm hoping mm -hmm. we can have events throughout the year, too. Oh, okay. cool. How about ticket information for our viewers out there? What should, how do they get tickets? Right, this yeah. is such a multifaceted, multi-venue <laughs> deal. How does right. it work? You can get a weekend pass for $30 and see everything, um, or you can get a $10 pass for any event. Can you get you tickets see. the day of the mm -hmm. event? You can get them at the event, or you can get them online on our website. And I know at one point there were six venues, which is what's on the screen. It's now grown to seven already. <laughs> uh, learn more on the website. We have all of them listed here, tickets available online. We saw dance today, but yeah. this is theater, this is music, this right. is the arts. Yeah. 
really great. Thank you for yeah, being thanks, here. Mom. Thank you so I much. I wish we could hear you sing. I oh. won't put you on the spot <laughs> now, but I'm so intrigued by you. Right. Come thanks to the a show. Lot. Thanks, thanks to you. Thank you.